Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's that time of the week again for three for Thursday. That open tag started by the lovable, affable, and always jolly Irishman, Patty from Patty's Potato Peelers. Thank you so much, Patty, for this wonderful open tag. I've had so much fun participating in the three for Thursday, but like every other uh, person out there with a channel, sometimes you're wondering, gosh, what am I going to make my video about? this week and then just after work i watched a video by none other than pete the jersey knife guy pete and pete had a a video on about barlows and apparently the uh, good friend of the community Stuart harvey was wanting to see favorite barlows i don't know if it was just for pete and uh pete kind of made it uh into an open tag sort of i guess not sure, but uh, hey, I thought that would make a great three for Thursday video. Three special Barlow knives. Uh, Stuart, I hope you enjoy seeing these. Each one of these Barlows is special in its own way. Now, the reason I jumped on the three for Thursday for this is, is because you see three Barlows. I actually own just one more. It's an old Imperial, you know, just your your standard Imperial uh, Barlow. Nothing special about it. Something I picked up in an antique store. But all three of these have a, a special story to them. So we'll start um, from the, the last one I got to the first one I got. So the last one I got was this two-bladed Barlow right here. And this was a gift from Thrifty Kniffy. And it's an advertising Barlow. And he must have found it down there in Texas somewhere. And uh, he said it needed a new home. Or it needed to return home. So this is a local company. This uh, uh, company is not located too far from where I live. So it's kind of neat to get a, a piece of history. And it is in just fine condition. It's a nice two-bladed Barlow. Of course, your clip point blade there. It is a Colonial. Colonial, uh, let's see if we can get it better there. Yeah, Colonial, Providence, Rhode Island. Has these nice uh, white synthetic covers. I mean, they, they look brand new. Sometimes I think they have a tendency to yellow or, or even crack and stuff. But boy, these are just so nice. And then, secondary blade here. Here's your pen blade. Just a wonderful knife. Yep, OTK really surprised me with that one. He sure did. Yeah. Okay. The one previous to that that I got was from Pete himself. Yes. Well, hold on just a moment. I want to apologize. I am getting so bad at this about not showing stickers. So there's Thrifty. This isn't his new one. Uh, the new one with the uh, uh, state of Texas. Uh, let's see, last winter or year before. Gosh, how long has it been? I took some, I have a laminator, so I laminated them all and, and then cut them out of the big sheets and I haven't gotten the new ones laminated yet. And I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to display my stickers. Because I know I don't have enough room here. So I thought at least this way they're protected. They're protected that way. They won't get ruined. And plus as I'm mailing out swag to, to folks. You know I know I won't give away my last sticker from any particular channel. Because the laminated ones you know I'm going to know not to send. So that's kind of why they're cut kind of weird. Because they're laminated. So anyway, yep, yeah, this one here, Thrifty Kniffy. And over here, Pete, Jersey Knife Guy, how we doing? There won't be a sticker for this one, I'll explain in a minute. But anyway, Pete sent me this wonderful Rough Rider Reserve Barlow, single bladed. And I have carried that, you can see down here on the blades, I've been doing some cutting. You bet. I've, I've carried and used this one, Pete. I just love this great big wide. Uh, 
spear point almost like a, a cotton sampler isn't it yeah that nice uh, swedge there double-sided this really is a fine knife the the fancy nail nick there half stop on it there it is nice action to it these nice micarta scales and I really like that shield really like the shield the uh, the pins the brass pins you don't even feel them look back here at the back springs I see why everybody got so excited over the the Rough Rider reserves if they're all in this uh, good a shape condition yeah just nice and smooth shiny they really did a good job with these so anyway that's number two now this one this is the sorry guys sorry but this is the most special one right here this was a gift from mrs knife delights she was out traveling and uh this is i guess a you'd call it a, a truck stop truck stop knife i don't even believe there's a, a country of origin on it i believe because of the wood here it's probably made in pakistan i have carried this knife as you can see the blade scratched up some it is still a great knife still got a sharp blade to it so that's the clip point on this one seems kind of short there don't it let's compare here well I guess there's not too much difference I don't know it just seemed like kind of a short clip there but yeah so there's your clip blade and there's your pen blade right there now for this knife being made in Pakistan which I'm assuming again because of this wood and it really is a nice pattern on there it's an inexpensive knife but I'll tell you the fit and finish is great on it this these uh, springs and liners just nice and smooth as can be the pins I don't feel nice trans well I guess you can get your nail down in there you can feel it but for the most part even there a little bit you can feel it a little bit but nothing big and terrible for a knife that I'm pretty sure it was under ten dollars yep I've used it carried it and it works folks it really works so there you have it once again thanks Patty for the open tag Thank you, TK, for this Barlow. Thank you, Pete, for this wonderful idea for a three for Thursday. This just made my day when I saw your video. But thanks for that, and thanks for the uh, for the, for the gift of the knife here. And, of course, to Mrs. Knife Delights, thank you so much for always thinking of me. Until next time, everyone, have a very delightful day.